Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan Nitson with Cycle News. Today we're at Washougal, Washington for the 2025 Kawasaki KX 250 intro. Uh, you check back on our channel for the 250 motocross edition. Uh, and this bike is the KX 250X, which is the off-road specific model. So what is different between this bike and the Kawasaki 250 standard? This bike, you're gonna get different suspension settings. Uh, I believe it's two uh, fork springs lighter in the front and lighter in the rear. Um, so that is gonna be more designed for off-road riding, less aggressive, uh, like motocross jumping and things like that. You're gonna get Dunlop AT81 tires. These are the off-road tires uh, instead of the MX-34s that come on the motocross bike. And then you're also gonna get a side stand, uh, kickstand over here. So for all these changes, you're at $100 extra MSRP. I believe it's $9,099 MSRP. Um, and so this bike is basically designed to go up against KTM's XCF, Honda's RX, and Yamaha's YZFX. Um, the thing that I think is difficult for the manufacturers that do the off-road bikes is there's one bike to do all the East Coast riding and one bike to do all the West Coast riding. So this bike is designed to race the NGPC stuff, the Grand Prix fast stuff on the West Coast and the GNCCs and the hair, um, hair scrambles and the National Enduros on the East Coast. So pretty intense for those guys to be able to do one bike that does everything. Um, you can check back on our video from yesterday that does all of the changes of the 2025 model. You get new chassis, new engine, uh, new bodywork. You're also gonna get the easily accessible tool list air filter adjustment, so, or air filter access. So for those quick filter changes, uh, especially for the off-road guys, it's gonna be really nice. This is definitely the racing cross-country bike, um, not designed really like the enduro stuff, like the some of the headlight bikes that we've tested in the past. So we're here at Washougal. They just did the uh, Western Hair Scrambles earlier this weekend, or last weekend. So we got a fun off-road course today. I'm gonna put this thing to the test, check it out. All right, what's up guys? Just finished up our second day here at Washougal uh, with Kawasaki. Today we're riding the KX 250X. This is the off-road bike. Um, and for me, this like always begs the question of do you take a dirt bike, a motocross bike, and make it into an off-road bike or an enduro bike, or do you buy the purpose-built model? So for me, I've always been buy the motocross bike, put your own parts on it, and make it into the off-road bike. But this new wave, the X's, the CRF RX, the KXX, YZFX, they're all kind of purpose-built for this off-road racing, this cross-country racing style. So with the new Cowie 250, if you haven't seen our motocross video, uh, check that out. But I'll break into some of the changes with this bike. New frame, new engine, new bodywork, uh, all that stuff for the 2025 model. It's a lot of the same changes that the 2024 450 received, now implemented on the 250 model. So center port exhaust, um, all those things. So the X though, the X model has an 18 inch rear wheel with Dunlop AT81 tires. It's got different suspension settings. Uh, it's got, a, I believe a two spring rate lower front and rear um, and the, for the fork to make it softer uh, all around. And then you get a kickstand on the side. All those changes is a hundred bucks more than the standard bike. So that's kind of like, how are you gonna do it? Are you gonna build your own bike or are you gonna spend a hundred bucks extra and just have these changes already? I think, I wish Cowie would have done a bigger tank and different ECU settings. To me, that would've been really cool. Um, the small tank still just doesn't, doesn't to me give enough differentiation. I feel like a lot of you racer guys are gonna get your suspension anyways. The rear wheel is a nice thing to have and this kickstand, I would replace with an aftermarket one. It's a, it's just a cheap kickstand. It's an OE cheap kickstand, but it's nice to have if you're not gonna do any mods to it, but if this is how you're gonna ride it, it's pretty good. Um, what I did is I took, so we have a big grass track today. Uh, nothing more that I hate than riding these ISDE style tests. We have this big test into the woods loop and the woods loop here is probably the most GNCC-esque uh, that we would ride for, our, for us West Coast guys. A lot of trees, uh, real tight, maybe double track. Like I said, there's a couple dozer made sections and a couple natural trail sections. But what I did first before getting on this bike is I rode the standard motocross bike and I was just getting so beat up. It was, I thought yesterday the bike was super plush, but on this stuff where it's super hard and choppy, it was really stiff. But I wanted to get a good baseline, see what it would feel like before jumping onto the X. Huge difference. Uh, the spring rate made a lot of difference. Riding through the choppy uh, ISDE woodsy stuff, it was just a lot plusher, ate the bumps up a little bit better, and then out here on the wood stuff, 
um, just had better traction. You could absorb some of these super square edgy bumps that you get from the acceleration zones. Um, and then the front end was a little bit softer as well when you kind of get on the brakes to make it into these turns. A lot of the, a lot of the trails here had a big, you know, bermed out corners, which was nice. Um, but I could see riding this thing in some single track stuff and being super confident. And then part of the woods loop too, which was cool, is you jumped back out into the motocross section. And that's where I feel like this bike kind of excels too, because it's so much based on the moto bike. A lot of you guys who want one bike to do everything, the X's are what's perfect for that. So you can get out and still get after it on the moto track. Like on a vet track, this bike would be totally fine. I think you B level guys and up trying to push it on a moto track, like the main track and doing all the big jumps, you're gonna find the limit of this bike. But for a vet track or something fun where you're playing around having some jumps and still want a moto with your buddies, I think this is gonna be a really good option. Really wanna to touch on the engine of this bike. I could not imagine riding last year's generation on the stuff we rode today. Last year's bike was just super high revving and it was really good for a moto track or if you're carrying your speed a lot, but you guys know riding this kind of stuff, you're, you're low RPMs, low speed, you're riding up a gear, you're lugging the bike around, getting up these hills. Last year's bike just wouldn't ride good in this stuff. This bike now you have so much better bottom end and the mid range where you can kind of ride right in the meat of that power. Um, you are gonna get traction control, which is really nice. I rode with that this morning when it was still wet um, and I feel like it did make a difference. Uh, I rode it on the moto track and it helped a little bit. And then having the two different maps that you can play with and adjust to your liking. So if you're riding, maybe like you go to a track that's more fast paced or you're going on a weekend trip and you're riding trails that are different than what you'd be racing on, it's nice to be able to have the, uh, have the app and change that. So yeah, overall the motor's a huge difference. And another thing that's cool too on the bike is you get the quick filter or quick access filter um, for your air filter on the side plate. So the off-road guys who are doing quick changes and things like that, I think it's just, it shows more that, you know, real people who ride are working on the, are engineering the bikes. And it's not just a huge pain in the butt to try to work on these things when you're done riding them. So cool, thanks guys for watching. That wraps up our two day intro here at Washougal on the Kawasaki KX250 and KX250X models. If you're watching one of these and haven't seen the other, check them out. And until then, you'll see a full written review in Cycle News. You'll find specs, photos, more details in a written review. That drops every Monday night at cyclenews.com. Totally for free. Check it out. Get in your email. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys out there.